as you can see the one with the flashing light we've got an error on this I've come in before and all the lights were red you can see it says it's charging and then what we'll get now is a load of red lights and a load of bleeps because one of the batteries has failed so I just thought I'd show you how to change one of these up systems which is quite straightforward so first of all of course we'll switch it off which is what you do so just put the screwdriver in which is off next thing the cover there's no it just pulls off it's just two clips that's how easy it is you don't have to turn the domains off unless you feel uncomfortable but if you want there's a cord here a little line little this and then we just pull and that's then disconnected from the charger unit inside there should be four screws on this front panel here but there's only two because I've took this network on a few years ago and the last person who did this didn't replace all the screws anyway so take them to one side and this pack now should just slide out and that reveals your four batteries and what we'll do now we'll take it back to my room and we will uh, I'll show you how to change these batteries okay when you change these for the first times these aren't the these are like aftermarket batteries they're not very good I don't know if they've been in a couple of years but to remove them from this casing, if you can see here, there's a slight dent where someone's forced it. These batteries are stuck in with like double-sided tape. So to get these out sometimes, they're a nightmare. So don't be scared to sort of, you will have to prize them if they haven't been changed before. And they do take some getting out. But once you've done that, uh, I haven't stuck these back in, they don't go anywhere. So you've got the clips, so you push, and that comes out. And push again. They are clipped in quite well. There we go. And I'll do two at a time. So these are the other ones. These I quite like ordering these. These are quite good. So these are CS3s. I don't know if you can see that. HR1234W F2s. They're 12 volt 34 watt. Okay, and that's what we're replacing them with. <sighs> so just do reverse, you can't go wrong. You can see that color coded red, black. And I'm not being funny, red, black. You can't you can't physically go wrong with it. Okay, running in. And the next one, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. I mean a computer company will charge you a little fortune to come and do this for you. Okay, so this one. But be careful because you have, I don't know if you can see that, I'm not giving you over. You've got some wires tucked down inside. You don't want to get them trapped under the battery. So you've got to just play with it, just be forceful, but also don't damage the actual wires themselves if you can. Okay. So lift him out. There's a fuse on this one and there's a fuse on that one. In. Make sure they're going properly. If you find that any of these are a little bit loose, slopping it going in, and they're not connecting properly, just squeeze them a little bit, not too much, just a little bit. You should hear them click. That means that they clicked home. This one's a bit. I'm going to tuck that wire underneath. If you can see that. I don't want the battery to jam it. Okay. out first to use this one. Oh you awkward monkey, come on. He's just popped off the fuse, that's all. So push him home, push him home. And he's always the last one, isn't it? So push him home. Come on. And that's it. I'm going to make sure that the wires, I've got a black, I've got a black cord underneath that one. So just want to lift him slightly, push this forward. The easiest way to do this is just grab a screwdriver, give me a sec. Put 
There. So you want them all flush. And no wires trapped underneath. Let me just double check that one. That's great. So we're, there. So we're all flush and that's it. So now I'll take it back with me and we'll go and put it back in the system. It's flush with the plate in the back. You can't go wrong with this, it can only go in one way. It will not fit the other way. Okay, tuck the rope back in. There we go. The up one on this, this is a, um, it's not smart, that's we call it up one. Uninterrupted power supply stands for APC www.apc.com. That's where you can get the batteries from, and it's a smart sub 1500. Everybody's got the same. So, cover back on, just pushes back on like so. Simple, and then I think it should power up. I should check yourself. Let's shut down. I don't know why it's done that. Better. So this is it's charging. That's charging. And what I'll do is come in tomorrow, and um, we'll have a look. We've got any red lights, but we should be should be fully charged tomorrow. There we go. It's charging, so it's definitely all right. Batteries have got charging them already. If you can see, I've got one, two, three, four lit. The top one's not lit. So, yeah. Brilliant, it's telling you what you've got running from it, which is one unit. Okay, I hope this helps anybody. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. If you've got any questions, I will put a description, I will put a link in the description down below where I got the batteries from. And uh, take care. See you in the next vid. Cheers.